Good morning. Hey, how are you, Jairo? Good morning. Hey, long time no talk. <laughs> yeah, let me let me be very honest with you. What happened is that I thought I, I received the message, right? And and I let me let me see when the, you guys sent the message. You guys sent it back in uh, August 11, the 11th. And, and the funny part is that I thought that the classes were the starting this week on the 21st. But, but, <laughs> but then I got a message, like I think it was on Friday or something like that from you guys saying, hey, remember that uh, by the 21st, you should have completed at least 25th percent. And I was like, why should I? <laughs> I told them why. Isn't, isn't it that we will start on the 25th? 21st and, and they were like no we have started back on the 14th and I was like oh damn I have already lost one <laughs> class so that is exactly what happened and and I apologize about it yeah it was it was last week yeah I'm <laughs> sorry <laughs> so how are you pretty good pretty good yeah uh, my my mom was visiting the country and she stayed here like for over a month oh very nice yeah and she left uh last tuesday and let me let me recall no she left yesterday i'm sorry she left yesterday <clears throat> and um and basically i, I just uh, that that was another reason why I, I just couldn't attend because of of uh, my mom mm -hmm. And and where is she at? Like where is she living at? Uh in the United States. Okay. Hey, that's good. It's nice that she came over. To see yeah. you. Yeah. But um the the thing is that she's she's looking to, to, to buy a property here in El Salvador because uh I don't know what happens with the people that leaves the country and they I at certain moment of time, they they plan to come back to El Salvador. I don't know. That. <laughs> well, I think I would do the same. Um, like honestly, yeah, maybe living in another country is is, is good. Well, especially you that you visited uh, several countries already. Sometimes you have the feeling like, oh, I would like to live here. In, in the country that you go and if you like it you're you're like oh i would like to live here um but then like me for example i think in the end i i'm i'm fine here i'm not sure if i'm like um i mean i don't know i, I think i'm okay here perhaps another job where i would get more money that would be nice so i can you know leave better but in the end I, I think I'm good here I think that's why you people know, come back you know what would be the the like like the ideal um way to live here is if you get one of these uh remote jobs uh with uh like uh North American salary I, I right. have a, a friend that, that lives here and, and he works for uh, a US-based company and, and he has the salary like if he was in the United States. Uh -huh. okay. and, and that's and that's uh, that's a dream because <laughs> you see him and, and he doesn't he doesn't struggle <laughs> at all. <laughs> yeah, it's it's funny. So I, I, I would consider but, but you know what, um, my mom has lived in the United States like for 20 years now. I consider she already has a life there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. And, and I don't know why she wants to come down to El Salvador, to be honest. Why haven't you moved there? Uh, to the United States? Yeah, with her. Be because I don't have a visa. Mm -hmm. I have Did never have, had a visa. And, have and you requested it already? Uh, four times oh four times and but um uh, isn't it isn't it easier if she's there and she requests you for you to get a visa 
actually, actually, she has already started the process. Uh huh. And um, let the reason I I think why I don't get it, the visa is because my my dad was in the United States illegally. Oh, okay. Uh, my sister was illegal too. Mm -hmm. My mom, she she is legal. She does have uh, all the documents and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I just have one sister here in El Salvador. And and I think that uh, the Americans think that uh, if I get the visa, I will just go to stay there. But the funny part is that, uh, to be honest with you, I have never, since I was a kid, I have never been like, uh, like I have never desired to go to the United States to live, you know? Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> and and to be very honest with you, I have never wanted uh, to visit the United States. I I wanted to visit Europe, and yeah, and, and I have already. And 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 when I go, when I when I went to Europe a few years ago, I I remember that I I could see myself living there because in Europe you have the life is a little bit more relaxed than the United States. They, they, they have the, all these, um, how do you say, traditions that, that you go out and, and, you, and you drink some wine and, and you eat some- The tea. culture. Yeah, like the culture. And, and that's something that I really like. I, I mean, uh, when you go to Paris, they have all these restaurants with uh, the chairs just looking at the street and, and you oh, see Oh yeah, I, I always love that. Yeah. <laughs> and in Italy it happens the same thing, right? In in, in Greece, well, Greece it is a little bit different because the people is not that um I would say they don't have like like um financial um facilities, I don't know how to call it in Greece yeah but but um wow it, Greece is a little bit different than the other countries in 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 Europe but Greece is is pretty alike to Latin America and, and I did not know that yeah it's it's I, I don't know I don't know if it was because of of the the island that I have visited mm -hmm. is a, a very touristic island but you see the houses, they have chickens and they have all this type of, it's pretty alike to Latin America. <laughs> uh, but I, I did like it because it, they have beautiful beaches and, and the food is Landscapes. Landscapes. And, and it's not that cheap. I mean, it's not that, that expensive like other countries in, in Europe, right? Um, but uh, if you go, for example, to this island that i have visited mykonos uh, mykonos the the airport is is pretty pretty similar to the airport we have here in ilopango it's not a big airport it is pretty small and 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 i don't know I, I did like that country as well and and this culture this food and these experiences they have oh but this looks awesome like like the white houses around the yeah you've and been there world. yeah i was there oh. in 2019 how expensive was to be there and travel the, the 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 most expensive part is to go from from here to to madrid and from madrid uh, i went to paris i went to to venice and italy and then from Venice, I went to no, no, you don't. Venice, that's that's California, right? How do you say uh, Venezia in English? Uh, Venice, right? yeah, it's Venice. Let me Venice, just double. Venice. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm mixing languages right now, but I think it's Venice as well. Uh, so I, I went from Italy to to this country to to uh, Mykonos to to that island, and the the. The flight cost like um, two hundred dollars, if I'm not mistaken, from Italy 
to this island and from this island back to uh, Madrid because yeah the it's day Venice after... it's okay Venice. Uh -huh. good and then the day after uh, I left that country I I was coming back to El Salvador so it, it was to be honest with you it was very cheap compared to the other countries in, uh -huh. in uh, Europe uh, uh, a bottle of water it was just like for 70 cents it's, uh, it's, nice. it's pretty alike to El Salvador <laughs> but the other countries were a little bit more expensive Paris for example in France it, it's really expensive um, but um, if, if you compare it to El Salvador I, I would consider perhaps right now we have the same prices because right, right now I consider El Salvador it's, it's very expensive as well I went to um, you know whenever when, when you normally go to like like here in my neighborhood, if I want to buy a, a um like food like lunch, mm -hmm. uh normally it would be like two fifty, two seventy five the most, and that's like like the, I think the average price right now here at least mm -hmm. here in Santa mm -hmm. Ana. Mm -hmm. Then if you pay like three dollars three fifty, I think that's a lot of expensive. That will be more for for um hand soup on the weekend like normally we tend to pay more that would be like the most but like like the most expensive food but downtown uh last week i went and uh with one of my friends and we wanted you know it was lunch time i was hungry and we went to a place and and half lunch and it mm -hmm. was he paid five dollars and 90 cents and i paid 450 I think it was it was insane insanely expensive I mean for yeah. me downtown downtown here in Santa Ana and it was like it was like like downtown it was not like a restaurant it was not Metro Centro it was not any other mall it was down the freaking downtown yeah and I was like man paying fine dollars and 90 cents for a freaking plate here it, it that was expensive most of i uh, like like two blocks down here uh there is a place they sell food in and out in the um in their place it says almuerzos económicos <laughs> so i went and checked and it has nothing to do with almuerzos económicos because the the price is 350 and 375 yeah, and, to and, me, almuerzos, almuerzos económicos, it should be like one dollar seventy five. A dollar fifty, a dollar seventy five, which, um, yeah, now it's two dollars here. It, before it was one fifty here, and then one seventy five. Now it's two dollars. Still, it's like eh, two dollars. But I went there in because it says almuerzos económicos. So I went. I was gonna buy three plates for my for my son for my. My, my for his mom as well uh -huh. and so um and i was like okay so wh i was like hey what do you have and he was like chicken meat whatever okay and and then what's the price oh 350 350 375 and i was like oh man that's even like almost four dollars like twelve dollars for three freaking plates i say no <laughs> thank you <laughs> yeah it's I... it's it's insane El Salvador right now it's really expensive. Yeah, yeah. So, by the way, how was Colombia? Did you like it? Oh, I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. Um, I think my next trip because I I I have to go back there, but my next trip is gonna be on my own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever? Well, well you have, eh? How you you traveled alone? Yeah, I have gone by myself to Cuba and to uh, Greece. Actually, I went by myself. Uh, I went to Panama on my own. And let's see, Panama, Cuba, Greece, Madrid. Uh, in those countries, I have been alone. You liked it? Yeah, I did. I yeah. did like it.
Uh, the, uh, Cuba is one of these places where you say, oh, I, I, I like it, but I, I think I, I wouldn't go back. You know? <laughs> okay. Uh, like... Because, because um, Cuba, Cuba is one, one lifetime experience. Mm -hmm. I, I just wanted to visit Cuba just to verify if it was really bad as the people say and, and it is <laughs> and then i found out that actually it is <laughs> <laughs> hey alejandro good morning i think i'll just watch hey. some videos about cuba and and, and stay with it <laughs> actually actually you you, need, you you know it cuba is is not that bad as the people from from like uh, la gente de derecha. Mm -hmm. It's not that bad as they say, but it's not as good as the people from la izquierda say, right? Uh huh. It, 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 it is. They have a, a very calm life actually because you see people uh, at the parks just playing music or singing or dancing or reading books. Like here. Yeah, and and um and and I I do envy that life because it's pretty calm, but uh it, it, actually there's no obesity because of obvious reasons there's no obesity, uh but um the the and, sorry and the, what, what sorry what are those obvious reasons because I don't get it <laughs> like, like they they struggle like uh to get food like oh okay for example they they don't eat uh like um cow you just can mm -hmm. eat pork and chicken and that's it but they don't eat it because they can't afford it or they can afford it that's one of the things oh. and the other one is that they do have cows and and stuff uh -huh. but um they don't own it they the, the mm -hmm. government owns the cows uh, oh, of the country shit. And uh, they say that they are reserving those cows in, in case of uh, uh, U.S. invasion and, oh. and that, that the United States attempts to, to go to war with them. But it's mm -hmm. been like 60, 60 years already and, and nothing has happened. And, and you see all, all of the people are engineers, doctors and, and stuff, but they would rather work from... Uh, guide tourists uh, I mean uh, uh, tourist guides and and um, and prostitution and, and all this stuff it, it's it's more 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 for that how sad so I went to Cuba four days <clears> and I, <throat> that was pretty about pretty much enough I don't want to go back to Cuba mm -hmm. I, I consider there are other countries that are in a better situation that's the reason why how yeah. yeah how depressed i think um and how was the airport the, the actually the airport is is way much bigger than the the airport here in, here in el salvador Air? you have different yeah. terminals and and they have a lot of uh tourists from europe mm -hmm. and they have these huge planes from air france and and all these uh, airlines from europe wow and, the, air, the airplanes that don't come down here to El Salvador, they go to Cuba. Uh, Air Canada, um, uh, Air France. France. Um, what what is the the Air France? There's another one that goes to Cuba. Um, that is a, a German company. Lufthansa. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So there, there's a lot of uh, airlines going to Cuba that don't go, don't come down here to El Salvador, and, and, and that's pretty, pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Have you but, ever uh, been to Cuba, Alejandro? No, I, I have not. But uh, yes, I, I, I always, I, I, same as you, I, I'm kind of interested to go to, to Cuba, but yeah, I, I I don't know. <laughs> I, I think there is a, other destination that, yeah, beautiful beaches and everything, right? So that's, <laughs> and then it, I don't know. I think uh, uh, maybe someday I, I will go, definitely. 
and and also they say that if you go to other places, not only to Havana and the other one, Baradero, there are, are other uh, amazing places like kind of Persian to visit, like beaches and everything. So that's kind that kind of trip that I want to do in Cuba, right? So go to those remote places and and check the the nature. I think it's cheaper. Isn't it's it? cheaper, yeah. They they do have these small con these small towns where you mm -hmm. can go. I actually went just to to La Habana and Varadero, just like you said. Mm -hmm. And and if I go back, mm -hmm. I would definitely go to these small towns that are not that like uh, famous and and with the amount of tourists, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, there in um. And and the chat, I I posted some of the pictures when I went to Mykonos, and right now I'm searching for <clears throat> uh, some of the photos I have taken when I. What a to... landscape! I oh, went that's... To about what a view! Years ago. Could you could you, could you iman, iman, imagine that ten years ago? Wow! Well, that's nice. Really nice. That was 10 years back? Yeah, no, the when I went to Cuba. When I was here in, in Mykonos, I was in, in 2019. Okay. I am searching for the pictures when I went to to Cuba to see if I can find any of those. I but remember it was like 10 years ago. I, I, I probably don't have when you went to Colombia, did you go to um what's the name of this church? Does in the um Montserrat? uh huh no um ah uh that -huh. did you yeah, go no I did it I have not gone to I went to to Bogota when I was coming back from Argentina in in May I went to Bogota just uh, to take dinner there uh, in Colombia I have been in in Cartagena. Oh, Cartagena, they say it. I love the beach. Yes, they say that it's, it's beautiful, Cartagena. I, I, because of my work, I, I travel a lot to Bogota. And, well, one of my past jobs, right? So I, I went to that cat, Catedral of Sal, and that's beautiful. <laughs> I, <laughs> it's, I, it's a beautiful place. Yeah. I, so. I did not know. I, um, uh... I went, the, my, my friend and I, so he, he told me, okay, so tomorrow what we're going to do is that we're going to go to this cathedral. And I was, okay. So, I mean, I was, I was, the, I just got ready, got breakfast and stuff. And then, you know, we started driving and we, we, we got there, but I thought it was like a regular cathedral that you go there, you know, like a regular one here. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I did not know that we had to go underground and 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 I when, when I was there I was like I mean why are we going to pay twenty five dollars just to <laughs> to visit yeah. <laughs> the cathedral yeah but but I was yeah I was like why am I gonna pay twenty five dollars just to visit and I was about but here's my money and then when I got there I was like wow <laughs> okay so that's why we pay <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing. It's my yeah. it was my well my first and unique experience in a in a uh, in a mine. <laughs> yeah, I yeah I, I I I don't know how they you know what what is that architects or engineer architects right like, like like they I don't I don't I don't even know how it, they even think about you know doing something in a mine like as big as that cathedral because yes. it is it is huge huge yeah yeah i i already found the picture when i went to cuba let me let me see if i can send it here there it is so the other country that that i have visited that i wouldn't go back Perhaps it it's Belize. Mm. Why is that? Because uh, it's it's really expensive and it's not that the beaches are are good, but uh, if you want to to visit Belize, I would consider uh, perhaps 
Uh, a weekend is enough. Mm -hmm. you go on a Friday, and if you come back on a Sunday afternoon or 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 Monday morning, but uh, yeah. that's that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. I went to Panama, and what I loved there is the beer. <laughs> The Panama. I think I even have uh, like the um. It was it was really it it, it was a, re a really nice beer. I liked that. Panama Panama was my favorite country of all. I I, I Panama was the first um country I visited in April twenty thirteen, and um. That was my favorite country until I met, until I went to, to Argentina this year. <laughs> yes. you, you like it more? Oh, yeah. The food, the people, the like the all this architecture and, and the city and, and everything is way better. It's just like, it's like being in, in, in Europe, but here in, in, in Latin America. Wow. Yes. In Argentina. Yeah. I have only gone to Panama, Bogota, and Guatemala. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, in Bogota, I like the infrastructure, the old structure. It was like the buildings with these bricks. It was really cool. Did yes. you go to this famous place, uh, the, um, the Andres Carneres? Yeah, I we went. It's it's really delicious. Um, I went there. Um, you know what? I was surprised because the it's not as expensive as I I think it's even cheaper than here. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I we went to a mall and have lunch, and and the lunch was three seventy five. A lunch in a mall, and it was. I don't know if it if it was the paisa. No, no. My friend, uh, yeah, ate that. I ate like something else, like chicken. I don't know. But it was rice and stuff, and then it has a little soup in the in the drink in the um yeah in the drink. It was three seventy five, three seventy. What I paid. Well, so I was, so I was happy. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> and yeah. and and in my experience, because uh. When I traveled to Bogota, I was working, so I received some travel expenses, mm -hmm. and yes, I really <laughs> enjoyed the food and everything because there uh, I received like thirty dollars per 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 meat, and per meat thirty dollars per, per, per th thirty thirty dollars thirty dollars for for every uh, time of 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 how, how do you say um, wow per meal. So, Per, per meal, yes. So it was a lot of money. So wow. I went to re really good uh, restaurants and and ate everything in the menu, right? Tried different stuff and and everything that that was pretty much amazing <laughs> to have that budget. Wow! <laughs> and not it's not coming from your 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 wallet, Out of your right? pocket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you when you get everything paid, it's like oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, yes, and and the other stuff because I I always pay with my credit card, so I also uh, get, points. Uh, get points and and yeah, so so then I I receive the the money back, so I use that uh, points to travel to other countries as well, and but the curious thing is I I went to uh it, the same with with my work I went to Costa Rica. And the same money for every meal, it wasn't enough. Costa Rica is very expensive. Very country. expensive. Uh -huh. have, you, yes. have you been to Costa Rica, Carlos? No, just uh, at the airport only. I, I, um, um, yeah, my, one of my friends was planning to go there, but uh, as you say, Ali, um, mm -hmm. they say it's very expensive. Uh, yeah. It's very expensive. Yes, yes. In Costa Rica, I only ate like, uh, okay, uh, 
a hot dog and, <laughs> <laughs> and burgers and everything, right? I, I was, when, when at the time I, I get there, I was thinking, oh, I'm going to eat like, I don't know, very good food and stuff. But <laughs> when I saw the prices, it's like, oh no. The, uh, when one time I, 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 I need, I pay with the money of the company and also I, I put money from myself right <laughs> to get yeah. a really good uh, food right so it's very expensive costa rica I, I really i'm not interested in to go there uh, again because of that i, I it's beautiful right it's have a, a lot of uh, well uh, things uh, or uh, forests and everything but yeah it's it's very expensive <laughs> I have I, I have shared a, a picture with you guys and I want you guys to guess how much money did that breakfast uh cost? Uh whoa. just give me a give me a number. I'm coming, hold on. I don't know, twenty dollars. Um okay, so this was where? In in Argentina. Ah. It was a breakfast for did, two. A breakfast for two. Oh, it has. Oh, it has a lot of it. Uh, I don't know. Maybe twenty bucks. I think. I, think, I don't know if I'm lost it's... or if we lost. Uh, Jairo. Did I no, get no, I'm here. Yes, Jairo oh, is. is I, I have yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've been talking. Did Didn't you hear? Me. Yes. Yes. I. I, I do. I, okay. I, I do hear. Mm -hmm. That looks like a well. Um, because like you it. because you just just say that it's a lot that, that it's cheap i would say twenty dollars each but here that would be way much yes here will should be like i don't know forty dollars <laughs> yeah here it will be four dollars each <laughs> <laughs> no eh, eh, for for the or the whole thing? A whole thing, yes. Uh, whole we, thing, lost, yeah. we lost Carlos. Yes, but right now Argentina is is, is very cheap. <laughs> we lost uh, Carlos. Carlos, yes. Th that is a really good breakfast. <laughs> I really enjoy it, 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 it in, in breakfast. I, I think it's my favorite favorite uh, meal time uh, I don't know why but I can uh, eat uh, breakfast every, uh, every time right uh, not in this only in the morning <laughs> hey guys I'm back I don't know what hey. happened hey did so you guys have to with the zoom or it was just me no it, it was just you it was you oh I'm sorry so I, I was just letting you guys uh, trying to guess how much money did I waste on, on that table of food in Argentina? Yes, we were thinking like uh, twenty dollars each or each. Mm -hmm. the, the the whole table was twenty dollars actually. The whole wow. table, wow! All, all the food you see there, it was twenty dollars. And and there the the dessert was not there because the the, the table was already full of food. Uh, right after we finished the all that food for two, they brought us the the dessert, and and it was twenty twenty three dollars for the the food including the 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 yeah. tip. So it it was it, it was pretty amazing. Yeah, it's, it's pretty pretty cheap. You should go there before the other this this new guy wins the the presidency of the country because if I'm not mistaken, he wants to dollarize the country and and if that happens, then all the the cheap part of Argentina for us the the foreign people will just disappear. <laughs> disappear, yeah. <laughs> but that's way cheap. That's that's why it's cheap, yeah, because of the uh, of uh, the, the 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 problems they have with their their currency, uh, and and unfortunately, there's a lot of people that is just having a rough time mm -hmm. uh, because of the salaries. Imagine it, that um that your money is just losing the value every single day. Like for example, in a week, they they have lost like forty percent 
of the value wow. of your currency. Imagine wow. tomorrow you wake up and ten dollars are not worth ten dollars anymore; are just worth six dollars, and you are unable to buy food. And and if you go, for example, to the supermarkets and stuff like that, you see they have promotions on the on the meat and and on the dairy uh, like milk, and you can buy the 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 dairy for uh, three months with no interest. And, and you say, how come? No. <laughs> if, yeah. if I buy this in El Salvador, yeah. I have to put it to three months <laughs> with no interest. So there's there's people just having a rough time, and that's the reason why they are just um, inviting the, the 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 foreign people to go to Argentina mm -hmm. with dollars because that that helps the the economy. Mm -hmm. And and it's it's unfortunately it's pretty sad because. You as a, as a tourist, you feel that that you are a millionaire in 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 Argentina. Why did it go that bad? I'm sorry. Why did the economy go go that bad? It's been there. like that, like for several years now. Uh, but, but unfortunately, I remember it's just a a, a pol politics play, right? They mm -hmm. there's a lot of people that that gets benefit. Uh, that that the situation is like that and and i think that they are not that willing to to mm -hmm. change it for for poor people yeah that sucks but you should take advantage of it at least now that you can do it and, and go and visit that, and that's it. really bad for them um really for them. yeah Indeed. But you took advantage of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> so there, no, and there's a lot of Argentina people that is just like earning their salaries in, in dollars, in US dollars, and, and they they just have a good life, right? But there's yeah. a, like the majority of people that, that yeah. are being in pesos, they, they are just pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I need to drop. Oh yeah, me too. I have another I need to jump off as well. Uh thank you both. Have a thank great you guys. No, no, thank you. Take, Take care. care. Bye bye. Bye bye now.